Hello all, welcome back to this old save. Seriously is here and we are going to continue with the new Sentinel update. Pretty much right where we left off. I'm still at the settlement. We need to talk to uh, the sentry here. We've got more to do for him. Help me you. Are we glass? Uh, oh, okay. Apparently we don't have more to do with him. What do we need to do? Let's activate our log and target the next part of the mission. Investigate the sentry's coordinates. That's right, he gave us a location outside the target system, so let's fly somewhere new. It'll probably be close by. Goodbye, settlement. Thanks for the lag. <laughs> uh, I gotta get a new computer. Although, it's funny that I can uh, record any other game I have with no problem, well, and I wouldn't say no problems, but very few problems whatsoever. And No Man's Sky is apparently very intensive. Oh yeah, we've been to this star several times for Nexus missions. Let's see what we need to do here for the Sentinel mission. Are we still on a trace of metal? I just looked at it and I can't remember what the name of the mission currently is. <laughs> we are probably gonna have to do some more fighting here. A lot of sentinels in the sentinel update, go figure. But we're also going to get some upgrades to our mech. <clears throat> hmm. So, where do we need to head? Interesting name of discovery person. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the sentry's coordinates. Looks like it's a frozen planet. give it a scan before we get there. Yeah, Arctic planet doesn't have activated copper, so it should be mildly peaceful. We'll see. Nice blue sky. I like that. It's going to be a very blue planet, though. Alright, approximate location. We're probably looking for a sentinel pillar, so let's look for something orange. We might be being sent to this thing here. It's a manufacturing facility, I think. Maybe an operation center. Let's land there and see what happens. <clears throat> yeah, we have some sentinels here. So this is some kind of facility. Hop out. First contact. Permafrost is the weather. I think that's fairly peaceful weather. Looks like we need to break down the door. All right, we have our scatter blaster open here. Let's reload it though. Yeah, that was the only shot out of it. Okay. Let's uh, recharge our hazard protection while we're here. And let's uh, get this door down. There we go talk to this panel. I know the sentinels can now come inside buildings, so we are not safe here necessarily, but while talking to this terminal, we should be. Uh, let's read these. Let's read these. <laughs> the factory's terminal looks just like any other. An anomalous facility. Anonymous. <laughs> Another meaningless screen of data. <clears throat> but the numbers that scroll past call out to me. I find my hand upon the panel. A needle extends from the glove of my suit. I, I did not know that I had a needle in my suit. I did not move my arm. Uh, well, I don't want to pull away, right? We're, we're here to get this mission done, figure out what the new stuff is. I surrender to my exosuit. I am a statue, a powerless witness to whatever it is attempting. Wave after wave of numbers fill the terminal screen pattern, swirling as my exosuit communes with the data. At last it halts upon a prompt I understand. <laughs> you understand that? <laughs> Glass archive breached. Boundary status open. Download hard... Well, that part, the last part, I understand. And yes, we will confirm the download of some new blueprints. Probably another arm for our exo mech. <clears throat> the factory is a portal. An anonymous node no more. Through this window, my exosuit receives another set of sentinel hard frame schematics from whatever world of data lies beneath. No need to feel afraid. Well, that's what you say. So we need a hard frame engine, and this is the legs. Oh, interesting, cool. We have one of those, and we need 120 pugnium. We definitely have all of that. <clears throat> Additional entity registered. Laylapse, the drone. 
deactivated unit 4927G. Near all upgrade noted available proceed. Yeah, let's upgrade our drone. Maybe it'll talk better than uh, cave drone talk. Awaiting broadcast. So let's talk to the drone with the E button like it says to do. Hey buddy, how you doing? I'm out of the building now. You can you can get close enough that I can talk to you, please. <laughs> okay, you know what? <clears throat> We're going to go this way then. You follow us. Yeah, that's right. Come on back. I really wish we could call this guy like it was a companion. That would be super useful. There we go. <laughs> Network purge complete. Restoring basal cognitive laser. Layer. Laser would be cool. Ooh, look, colored dots and a purple exclamation point. Feeling better. Feel fresh. Greetings, Telemon. Uh, well, I sort of know who Telemon is, but I'm going to ask. <clears throat> Perhaps I have made an error. Yes, error. Apologies, traveler. Please accept my fault. To establish better bond, install hard frame blueprint in own minotaur. If you compute it, you compute more. All right, so we have a mission to install that into our Minotaur. I don't think we can call it in here because we don't have our freighter in system. Yeah, we can't do that. Um, <clears throat> hmm. well, while we're here, we could hunt some more drones, but let's just go back to our home system. We could build a, a platform here as well. Let's just double check our log, actually. Install the hard frame legs. Yep. We can do that apparently anywhere, so we're going to go home. All right. Quick warp away to Tanagra. Right near the core of Euclid. And this save may be my farthest traveled, but its home base is squarely in the first galaxy. As in the middle as I could get it, basically. We could go to the settlement, but I say we just land anywhere on the land and call in the Minotaur there. We'll probably have a lot less lag with the game just needing to draw in the geography instead of a thousand buildings and uh, NPCs. Well, a thousand building parts. Yeah, that was nice and smooth, actually. I mean, the grass isn't there yet, but we'll, you know, we'll get it. It'll come in. Maybe. All right, let's hop out. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some grass here. Okay. <clears throat> it's just a really sparse area of grass, I guess. Minotaur. Boom. All right. It's close enough. We don't need to do that now. Um, legs. Let's put it right there. Because that's where legs would go, right? <laughs> Not at the bottom. Pognium engine. Oh, hey, look, that does have adjacency bonus with this stuff up here, with the engines. Neat. Uh, okay, fuel usage. Oh, are we being attacked? Not anymore, we're not. Look at you, fuzzy white beaver monster. Well, maybe that's not a beaver tail. That's more of a cat tail. I guess you're just a dino cat, but you're really fuzzy. Ah, there you go. Striped tiger. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, now what's next? Your settlers have returned from their sentinel facility mission. Or, well, I guess we needed to go to the... I should have just landed there in the first place. Oh, well. At least we have a map marker showing us the way. Let's give this um, <clears throat> a little bit of time to load in. We won't fly in full speed, we just won't slow ourselves down that much. 
No, we're, we're gonna slow ourselves down all the way because it's not appearing at all. <laughs> we're not even getting the trees around the edge yet. There we go, there's the trees around the edge. And I saw a landing pad over here somewhere. But if we have to talk to the terminal, maybe that far landing pad that's highlighted is the good one to go to. Alright, we'll see. We should be facing the right way already. Yeah, there we go. Just give it a couple of seconds for some textures to load in. I can see that we already have smoke on those lights. There's some scrub brush popping in there. Okay, okay. That should be fairly good. We have texture on the landing pad. Let's try turning around. Oh, look at that. We have a settlement. <laughs> Sometimes I turn around and I can see settlers walking around in the air because the walls and floors haven't drawn in yet. All right, what happened on our expedition? Did they all die? Debrief the expedition. Uh, they found a Sentinel hard frame blueprint, but the atmosphere is subdued. Oh, okay. Thank the explorers. Question the explorers. I don't... <clears throat> We, we get left arm plans either way, so let's just get the left arm plans either way. <clears throat> okay, removes electrical array and sp creeping spreading glass or quarantined explorers. Reluctant to speak further, they do not seem quite themselves. Can I back out of this? I, I right clicked. Ooh, that doesn't seem like a, like a good thing. Okay, no, I still have that. I can back out. Good to know. I'm glad I gave it a try. You can back out of that decision and view your settlement status first. It's going to remove, what did it say? Electrical array, right? Well, I don't want it to remove that. Get rid of one of these two stupid things. I don't need happiness. I'll throw parties. Uh, all right, well, hopefully whatever we get. And <clears throat> ads feature quarantined explorers. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, although glass is something I want to get. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what creeping spreading glass does. Uh, creep. Do not drink the water. That, that doesn't... So we lost productivity at our settlement for flavor text. Not thrilled with that. <laughs> oh well. What's next? Install the arm, I guess, huh? Call the Minotaurian out of town so we don't uh, make a dent. All right, Minotaur left arm. Ooh, looks like a chainsaw of some kind. We need a hydraulic wiring that we don't have, but we can probably make one of them. What do we need? Two nanotubers. Need a lot of materials to make these secondary elements. There we go, that is installed. It also does not seem to have any adjacency. Let's try moving it around a bit. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at that. It has adjacency with a laser. Well, I'll leave it right where it is then. Now, what do these things do? Damage to stunned entities, 400%. Mining laser power, 62%. Post-impact ignition. I don't know what that means. Oh, it sets things on fire. Uh, impact fire duration, 4 seconds. Neat, 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 neat. Uh, this one is... Slim overrides function. High velocity stun projectiles and serves as excellent support weapon. Okay, cool. Well, we have the cannon and uh, the boar even as well. Cannon. Oh, does this adjacency with the cannon? I thought we tried that already. Yeah, it does not. But um, 
I guess I should keep the arms together, even if they're in the wrong order. <laughs> uh, yeah, doesn't matter. The right arm is on the left side, and vice versa. It looks really cool. <clears throat> I am pretty happy with the way it's looking so far. Looks like we just need the core now. I'm betting that's the next step. Do we talk to Laylaps, the drone, the sentry? Sentry broadcast detected. Yes, we do. Let's give him a, a holler. I'm thinking about names. Telemon, not Telemon. Places have names. People have names. Even clothing. Clothing is a name. Names are just words. Uh, but I do not possess a name. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you don't have a name. Uh, I did not require. But where is my hive now? I know. I will give myself a name. Oh, so now you're... Yeah. See, it already said Laylaps, but... Uh, say hello to Laylaps. Don't know why you picked that name. Does that spell anything backwards? No, not that I can pronounce. <laughs> uh, your minotaur friend needs a mind before it can flourish. I can help. Well, we're going to give it an AI. We can go buy an AI core from the Anomaly. I did go buy the stuff on the Anomaly. Uh, well, most of it. All of the exo uh, exo multi tool, multi tool stuff. <laughs> uh, I see the big walkers. I see where they walk. Obtain a brain of a walker. Bring it to your anomaly. Bring it to Tethys, not Telamon. Okay. I can accept the direction to the walker. Plans, blueprint, upgrade, technology, my gift to you. Accept the blueprints. I think I already bought this. <laughs> but that's cool. I could install it. <clears throat> Do I need to? So there's something to know. If you do these missions before you buy the stuff on the Anomaly, you'll get some of these blueprints for free, which is cool. Uh, let's look into that. I don't have any space on here because this gun is a mess. Uh, you know what I don't need is scanner, even though I have re-rolled these to get the very highest scan radius I can possibly get. I'm not positive that it has any real effect on things. So, this one definitely does. The recharge time is super important. I put this on every multi-tool. Um, I think we're gonna uninstall the 39 and the 38. We'll keep the 40, we'll keep the scanner. That'll give us two slots. I am reticent to do this, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, I suppose if I do it like this, I can give my scanner some adjacency bonus I. So let's install some stuff. <clears throat> it wanted me to do this thing, the paralysis mortar. And all we got is a wiring loom. How many of these we need? Two seals and two jelly. Now that's going to be an issue. Let's quickly go to the old inventory, which we are already in. <laughs> Check the freighter for some jelly. We have tons of stuff, but apparently we are very low on basic materials like dihydrogen and dihydrogen jelly. Like we're rich, but the things that are hard to buy, we don't have. Okay, so we're going up to a space station. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to basically because we have nothing we need and we're not gonna get it here on the planet real quick, I don't think. Uh, jetpack flower. Actually, there's some dihydrogen over there. All right, mining beam. Okay, good, that's my sentinel drone over there, so we're not gonna get yelled at for harvesting this stuff. Get out of the way. Did I shoot you? Well, get out of the way then. <laughs> don't get angry red light with me. Okay, I'm sure we have enough for one, but we need to get up to 80, I think, for two. If we're just going to craft it directly instead of refining it. There we go. Uh, that's enough for three. We should probably just make three. Okay, we need two of these. And we need two of these, but let's just make two for now. Back to the multi-tool. And it's installed. 
There we go. So, <clears throat> now that I have an alternate fire method, I can switch with the middle mouse button, it says. Mining beam, paralysis, mortar. See, it's saying switch alt is a uh, middle mouse button, but it is not doing anything. My middle mouse button isn't broken. I can activate it. I'm not, I'm, ro I'm rotating it. I'm pressing it. I can't switch to my combat scope. Does anybody know, anyone watching, how do I switch back to my combat scope or to other secondary fire items? I'm super cool with this though. That's awesome. Oh, a little bit of a delay on that explosion. Oh, hey, that took no ammo. Oh, it went down to 19 and went right back up to 20. That's a bug. That's almost for sure a bug. That's going to get fixed for sure. Okay, ref our mission. A trace of metal, retrieve a pristine brain from a walker. All right, where is our target location then? Is it on planet? No. Back to the ship. Back to the frozen planet. And away we go. Uh, I am fairly happy with the game's performance today and my computer. We're doing good. Not a lot of lag. Even at the settlement, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know what is causing all of these issues. I have to shut down every other program I'm running, and even still sometimes I need to shut down No Man's Sky and reboot it. Uh, it's running fine. I'll start recording. It'll lag all out, and if I don't reboot No Man's Sky, it just doesn't get better. So, I need a new computer. <laughs> but we're doing pretty good today. Uh, yesterday's was uh, not ideal. Not ideal at all, lag-wise. Okay, let's see. What are we looking for? It's an approximate location. We are looking for some sort of facility. I see something right there. A little orangey red thing. Let's zoom into that. <clears throat> Could be a sentinel uh, pillar. Uh, no, it's just a walker guarding... A, uh, a monolith or a plaque? One or the other. Either way, it's what we need to kill. It's a walker. So, let's get on to the scatter blaster. Let's reload. Defeat the sentinel walker to retrieve its brain. Let's kill the repair bots first. We can just keep this thing stunned forever. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's repair bots. Yeah, I really miss my combat scope. Zooming in and getting a bit of a slower aim is something I like. Although I have to say, I really like this, uh, whatchamacallit, paralysis mortar. It's working really well. Oh, he's going to shoot me in a second. There we go. We paused him again. There we go. Walker brain. Do I have inventory space? I does. <laughs> Pristine brain. Item found. Awesome. And apparently I can blow this up again with a mining beam or whatever. Just like normal. And get a normal walker brain too. Cool. And for some reason, doing this, because it's part of the mission, I guess, did not activate Sentinel attention. You know what? While we're here, let's see about getting a word. Oh, uh, maybe this is part of the mission. Every Corvax Electronic Rebellion will be put down their, their appeals to their false non-existent atlas. Oh, I don't know that I've ever recognized this lore before. No, I guess I just haven't been to Corvax systems. Gek systems. No, yeah, I've definitely learned all of the new Gek words. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. 
That's neat. Some more salvage glass. That's awesome. We're going to get into that in a bit. What's the next step? Install that uh, pristine brain, I guess, right? Do we need to talk to Laylaps? We will be a good team. All of us and you and the big minotaur friend. Okay, let's go talk to the minotaur friend then. Minotaur friend is back at the settlement, so we will head... Yeah, no, thanks ships. I really appreciate you guys warping in all around me right while I'm trying to activate my pulse drive. Super helpful. Hey, look, a base called Good. <laughs> I'm pretty happy people found my planet here at the core of Euclid to be nice and peaceful. Worth checking out, putting a base on. How long ago did we find this place? Let's take a quick peek, take a quick detour. Three years ago! I've been playing this game for more than three years. <laughs> And I'm still having a blast. Oh, we're going to the anomaly. We could have just called that in anywhere we were. I forgot that he told us to bring this brain to the anomaly. Would have been a little bit faster approach to the tractor beam if we called it in where we were, but at least now it's right above the base, so when we leave here, we'll be above the settlement. Although, there's no reason not to take the teleporter down to the settlement if that's where we need to go probably be a bit faster. <clears throat> Although I don't know if it'll load in fast. <laughs> Since we're in the same system and all. And I know there's a new jetpack trail coming, as well as a new jetpack, so we're definitely going to switch to that because none of my saves obviously have the new jetpack. And that'll come with the expedition, which, as of the recording of this, has still not dropped. So we will see when that comes. You might be up by the time you watch this, hopefully. <laughs> Tethys is doing their best to appear aloof and unconcerned, but it is clear to me they are struggling to contain their excitement. Before I can reply, they explode with questions. Did it work, Traveler? Tell me, did the drone live? Where has it led you? What have you learned? Drone is doing well. Uh, it gave itself the name. I'll just say it's doing well. Excellent, we have done well. Done well indeed. Oh, I do wish I could see it, but I cannot leave this anomaly. And this anomaly is one place a drone can never be. Alright, now we'll tell it it gave itself a name. A name? Give itself a name? That is unusual. And is beyond simple engineering. I should have looked more closely at those beads Polo gave you. That geck is always up to something. Pristine brain. Never one so beautiful, and you say our drone friend told you to bring it to me. Remarkable. So, we want this to go in your Minotaur. I like how you think, Traveler. Bring the heavy, arm heavy armaments to the fight against the Sentinels. A few vulnerabilities in these things. Should be a simple enough job to bypass with a few circuits. Yes, this won't take long. There, done. I've done the hard part for you and rewired the brain. This schematic should take you through the rest of the process. Hard frame body. There we go. We're finished upgrading our mech, I think, already. Let's get down to the surface of the planet and install this stuff, right? What do we need? A radiant brain? Where do we get that from? I guess we're going to find out in a second. This brain, it won't be enough. It needs something else. Something crimson. I don't... Well... Look, you'll find out soon enough. The signature I've coded in the brain will draw its attention. Head out into space. You'll know what to do. Fly well, traveler. All right, looks like we are flying out into space. Maybe we're not installing this hard frame core yet. Away we go. Fly into space to present the brain to the Crimson Void. Launch into space to begin the search. Activate the pulse drive to begin the search for a beacon. Well, let's just head out in this direction. Oh, okay, I see. It's doing a search, like, uh, for a derelict freighter. But it's our hacked brain looking for it. So we're going to find something anomalous. Ooh, Messenger of the Atlas. That's a screenshot. <laughs> All right, we're going to see what this has to say. 
And that's where we're going to call it for today. The Atlas Beacon drifts through space. We're going to crash into it. Hopefully that doesn't hurt it. Present the hacked brain. Uh, words I don't understand. Again. Come on, it's not letting me back up. All right. <laughs> I made contact with an Atlas Beacon, all right. <laughs> okay. Now what's the next step? Install the hard frame sentinel body. Okay, we're gonna do that. That is really cool. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna leave it there everyone and we're gonna come back next time and install that hard frame sentinel mech body. Get our own AI pilot. And until then, have a good time.